Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we are continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Grandmaster difficulty. It's uh, this time in Terras, a planet that needs our support, where we are fighting off the Chaos Agents. We can try to kill four. Um, enemies with a grenade and we're going to accept that deed and we're picking a lot of grenades matter of fact to really be sure I would uh, say we're picking yet another grenade four holy hand grenades in uh, just one mission isn't that great can we use stratagems again? No, we cannot. Well, let's make sure that we make the best out of this. Our prime team goes in and we're hopefully going to see a couple of big fat promotions afterwards. Let's go boys. Data indicates the sons of the putrid eye use these roads as a base of operation. Another foul cult of Nurgle. There is little doubt we will find more of these seeds below. Brothers, advance. Good, we gotta get all of those seeds and we need to kill all of uh, the enemies with uh, just grenades. Not all of them, but at least four. Standing ready. Well, that should be doable. Rushing forward. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Yes, Commander. Trying to stay out of line of sight in case that, that isn't clear. That way we only got 15 Unleash me. Uh, percent of, um, of bloom corruption. Well, we need to kill them with grenades, don't we? I'm not sure if this is going to kill anyone. Potentially it is not. It certainly is not either. They have not really positioned themselves very well. Not liking what I'm seeing here. All right, we're moving up. Listen, all of uh, them are in cover, so that's really not a great place to be to begin with. Well, for them it's a great place, for us it's not. We could blind every single one of them for the Emperor.
Could also move to here and then shoot them with a scatter shot. I think what we're going to do is. We're going to move to exactly here. The fall is close. Let the hunt continue. All right, confirm that. On target. Good hit. The pain will set you free. Uh, before we do that, how about this? Oh, that's very good. That's exactly what we need. Cool, because that's already two kills that are going to in, uh, be incoming now. My blade is ever ready. Come on. Here, I hope that the enemies can't also destroy these things, otherwise we do have a problem. Holy hand grenade! Oh, I am the Empress Fury. Very good. Cool. Standing ready. Uh, before we teleport in, let's see. Quick four strike could just continue. We get a decent amount of uh, willpower. Okay, so that's one option. That's a uh, matter of fact, our only real option and we might be sending up here that way we're not blocking the other side okay but before i decide whether or not to force strike Unleash me let's teleport to here we're definitely going to go for this guy first down or one hit and I think the answer is we are going to force the strike good minimum damage That's two AP loss. Standing ready. Advancing. Moves to here, and if we hit this guy, uh, that should be a kill with the grenade, right? I think it is, because he's falling down and that constitutes as a kill. Yeah, <laughs> yep, that's a kill. And a good one. Praise the Emperor. I could have used the grenade in order to get our last uh, kill here. 
Your orders? Good, that's where the second seat is. Yes, Commander. Listen, why not heal up? Because I think it's not the number of hit points uh, damage that you take, it is the lower you get, the more injured you are. Similar to, uh, to XCOM. So, topping someone off is a clever move. We are discovered! Uh, yes, good on, start. <laughs> Fantastic start. I like it. The Emperor lights our path. Charging in. And uh, this here is a another fine move because ah! side condition so fulfilled. To the unworthy. With haste. Moving back. At the same time, I would like to move up here and we're going to thank you next turn. for the win. Die, die, die! Stupid pint that took us or that costed us. Gotta deal with these guys next turn. Your orders? Costs one AP, so we should be able to reload afterwards, right? Aye, sir. I must sanctify my rounds. Cool. And then I shall do. Go ahead, sanctify your rounds. And when you're done with that, can get him down. Oh, wounded. Your orders? There you go. Is restored. Top up. A little top up. It's all we need. No match for the Emperor's Chosen. Take all. Ah! Ah! Hold 
destroyed, Commander. What is your will? Good. Um, my will is to absolutely slaughter each and every one of these fools. As you will. Shall not pass. Nope, not good enough. But what I can do is we can move down here. Super plagued is still dealing damage. This guy is trying to pin us down. If we're not clustering up, die, die, die. then that has little effect on us. Oh wow, that's a nasty pack right there. My blade is yours. Uh, good for now. Uh, what isn't good is that we can't reach this guy. Go, another grenade and another double kill. Nice. Mercy in death. Mm. Who's next, brothers? What is your will? Let's knock it back. There you go, out of your stupid cover. Well, and uh, you're not so tough anymore, eh? Empty. I am here to serve. Gliding through the Hello. Oh, I love it. Let's disable that staff of yours. And another hit. And bleeding. And another hit. Sanctified and purged. Fantastic. Moving out. Good. We dealt uh, well with the reinforcements, all things considered. Plagued uh, condition will still haunt us service. for a while, but we should be fine. Um, you know what? I I I'd much rather stick together. End of turn. <laughs> Whose 
Good, this should not trigger yet. Uh, still not, still not that used to the aggro radius. I see you are. Just wait. These heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. Santo. What if Zabaz unleash me? I take all. <laughs> Love it. I am here to serve. Do we have another explosive? No, we don't. into cover yes commander Enemy down. I like the high range so just let him go your orders two extra AP firing now Here, kill, move there. Well, that's an option for. It. Taking position. Enemy down. I don't want to cluster up too much. Okay, we could run over here. In an instant. Here and the Emperor protects. We're just protecting. Search more reinforcements. Not a surprise. Pure among impurity. Praise the Emperor. Your orders, your command.
Okay, before we're doing that, this and reload could be a good option. Okay, let's do that. Sure, why not? I must sanctify my rounds. I have sanctified my rounds. Unleash me. two uh, cyborgs later and we're good with alacrity my will is spent that's fine we don't need you to spend any more will Good. My blade is yours. Vengeance! Almost, almost got him down. Time for some holy bolts into his face. Come on, more of them. And I just realized we're not even there. Because right there is another one. I thought this was the last set of enemies. Well, gotta be careful here. Opening fire. Terminated. Your orders. This is as far as we can get without teleportation. We bring death. This is more uh, willpower efficient. I could spend two willpower giving it to him, but that would unfortunately, um, unfortunately, spend even more willpower afterwards. So. Instead, take this one. is rising again. Wonderful. Glory to One, Cyphos. Two. Executed. And three. Which brings us to move forward. And please don't look back. We got one will point at the moment on most of our characters. Of 
three on our healer, which is enough for one heal. I have no servitors this time, because we brought grenades. Affirmative. Careful to stay too far back and then trigger a pack. Standing ready, standing ready. Unleash me. I can only unleash you once it is time to do so. Let's wait for that next warp surge to happen. Potentially, again, enemies teleporting in, right? You're gonna suffer minus one uh, will point for the remainder of the mission. Where are we standing? Three uh, for yes, to carry. Zoe is fine. Uh, Jim is fine. My Can do that. We have a bit of a problem with you, my dude. Enders needs more uh, points. Zabaz. Moving out. Black Dogs, Force Emperor! Securing position! <laughs> we are the Swords of Justice. Well, look at that. Moves to here, shoots that and exploits it. That does potentially falls over, but that's not good enough. We still need to hit that other thing. Um, I am here to serve. Gliding through the wall. I must manage. Flanking and being in full cover, best position possible. I am his will. Blessed are our arms. Good, move forward. <clears throat> A 
And this here should hit both of them. Good. It's not bad if they are bleeding, because uh, that means we have a lot... We have achieved a lot. Um... Trying to get one of them down. Move up and offer ourselves as a target. Crit would get him there, but it's a crit chance. Twenty percent. Hmm. The other option is to hit all three of them with blindness, which I think I'm preferring to do. The enemy is wounded. We shouldn't be hit. I'm in full cover. How is that possible? And he's blinded. <laughs> All right, tries to heal himself and all works. Okay, cool. Your orders? Your orders? Good hit. Unleash me. Moving up to over here. Of hits. The enemy is wounded. And now it's time for Psybolt. That's all the seeds accounted for, Commander. But there are warp disturbances emerging nearby. We will begin teleport extraction immediately. What is your will? That would overwatch hit us. Here to serve. For Titan. Armor gone. The foe bleeds. Half cover reduces uh, armor by one. Uh, damage by one, sorry. Spend spell points here. 
What does this rupt do exactly? Afflict disrupted, but they are immune to afflictions, right? Are they immune to afflictions? Uh, to plague, so they are immune, okay. So this should disrupt him. I don't yet fully understand what disrupt does, but he is disrupted. Ammo depleted. And we're reloading. The Aegis shields us. Good. We need to reload anyways. And ready. Oh, okay. I wasn't aware that that would trigger. Stupid plagued. The bleeding worked out nicely. I think I, that was a good idea. Unleash me! Your command. What is your will? All right, let's hit him. Good hit. Another good hit. My blade is ever ready. And we're getting a kill. Show to the unworthy. Which then brings us to healing. My focus fails me. What's the crit chance? 20%. Hmm. I haven't seen much happening with disruption, to be fair. On the other hand, we will get a warp search anyways. Might as well disrupt him. 20% crit is not good enough to justify. Down to seven. Yeah, the problem that I'm seeing is we're taking a lot of retaliatory damage. Could move up, hit him, and then put up Aegis. That would, I think, be a decent choice, because we have parry chances. Cowards. I am his chosen shield. Okay. Disrupted means no attack of opportunity. Okay, I see. Neil. Good, let's take away his stupid ranged weapon. And 
one more hit. And a kill. I think we've done very well here. Is ended. As you will. We have done very well overall. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay, can't heal. End of turn. Beginning teleportation. Please do so. I think we accumulated quite a few wounds, unfortunately, because we we fought like a lot of enemies. But we also got two requ uh, three requisition out of it. We get a level two bolter here. But that will cost us two requisition. Okay, that's a mimic beacon. Mm. That's not a bad choice, but we're saving our requisition for now. Good, Jim here took a lot of wounds. I absolutely love Honor the Chapter. And that extra passive war gear equipment looks great. It looks fantastic. Uh, and the crushing charge might be something that we really want to go into. This here is the support portion. I like what I'm seeing. I mean, sure, we could go into more melee weapon damage. Fair. Some of the strikes here are good. Uh, strike all targets within blast range, rent the unclean. Uh, that's a really good one because uh, we're getting oftentimes like swarmed and we have too little AoE attacks. So I'm contemplating whether or not this here could be a good idea. But then again, um, run in a single direction and uh, deal damage plus uh, a lot of stun. Then you can deal more stun. Hobbled. Yeah, well, this here is more crowd control. Unfortunately, Jim is out for 50 days and he's really wounded, so no point. No point in trying to use him. Like I said, we took a lot of uh, damage. Good, for one more will point, um, we would be dealing even more teleportation strike in. This here gives us two will points permanently. The character has two little will points. And the question that I'm asking is, we could get two will points over here and then get into the Aegis shield option uh, for more armor. Oh, we can upgrade the Aegis shield quite a bit. Yeah, yep, yep. And more wall gear is good as well. This is a very nice, uh, very nice slot. But then we wanted more melee damage as well. So this here is survivability. But I tell you what, like we're going to take uh, this warp charge and irrespectively we need more uh, warp points permanently because of willpower because uh, he's always out of uh, willpower and thus we're skilling this. I'm even considering going there and Um, 
I mean, this here could give you. Uh, it would cost even more will uh, uh, power or will points, but it would give you quite a bit uh, more. Currently, it's two. If you upgrade it, it's four, and if you then use a will point, it's seven. And seven armor is a lot. So I'm thinking about using that as well. That's not a bad tree. But this year I think is even better. I'm going here. This year is not wasted. Whether I skill it here or here really has no uh, impact. Other than this unlocks uh, the defensive uh, side. I think this is not bad. Uh, the passive melee attack upgrade is I think the next thing that we would want to do that's 15% crit and more crit damage so that's, that's not bad I like it that's simply more damage on normal strikes this is a purging strike more hit points You know, that would be next level is next level is one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's three more levels. But it's good. Uh, overall, this character seems very, very potent. The whole teleportation shenanigans, and then just getting in into the front line. That's good. That's great. And. Jim Mulet, uh, with uh, his shenanigans was good as well. So, overall, decent teamwork. You know what they say? Teamwork makes the dream work. And we are off to another journey. Let's get into the position that we have taken a couple of times. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact, saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. All according to the plague god's desires. Yes, but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial. The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge. You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander, you must send out your knights to harvest more. You would have us limp around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. Very good. Plus one requisition. And we're starting a new research. We can research the seeds even further. It seems to be kind of 
the main tree, so to speak. But then again, we have so much else to research. We could use another stratagem. I like the plus 50% crit chance. I'm not gonna lie, that is great. Cool. You have my attention. Do you doubt me? I do several hundred. Do I bore you? To be honest, I the ordo. If we must. Not all who serve. If we must. Yes, you've taken enough of my time. Very good. Commander. Preliminary. The machines I once had. Affirmative. Earnest. It's store waiting. Repairs are progress. Waiting for new input. Everybody here seems to be inquisitors by all means. Nurgle is the plague god, sir. I am ex by all means. We quite stressed with the situation. I can understand Nurgle is no easy foe to deal with. Good. And we have repaired finally that Ojorium. Do we want more research speed? Which I think is good, uh, but I think. Before that, we want even more travel speed. Travel speed means we can reach uh, the different areas even faster. Good. The prognostic car is exactly where it's supposed to be. Just the time to find a new or some new gloom activities. Could go to here and reach that in time. If we fly to here, we can reach that in time. What's at stake here? Requ one requisition, I like that. What get, do we get here? Servitors, that's always helpful. Now we get here Grimoires. Well, Grimoires aren't bad either. Um, you will reduce the active bloom on this planet by minus one. Okay, uh, let's just double check. Zero bloom, uh, zero bloom, one bloom. So maybe we're going there and then there. Because this guy already has bloom and I don't want any more bloom. All right, decision has been taken. Sucks for the systems that we can't help, but there will be bloom everywhere at some point. There will be bloom everywhere. Anyways, that's uh, all I got for today, guys. Uh, that's the end of today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed Warhammer 40k Chaos uh, Gate, then leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.